committees. The gentleman from New York is recognized for three minutes. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and uh, I thank the gentleman from uh, South Carolina for introducing this resolution. I rise today in strong support of H.R. 3783, the Countering Iran in the Western Hemisphere Act. Last week's events in the Middle East and Africa are a stark reminder of how fragile peace can be. Iran's leaders have not been afraid to let the world know they will attack the United States and our allies, even going so far as to claim that they will wipe Israel off the face of the earth. Iran is emerging as a threat much closer to our shores in South America. Earlier this year, Iran's president, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, embarked on a trip that Chairman Ross Leitman accurately characterized as a tour of tyrants. He traveled throughout South America where he met with Venezuela's President Chavez and attended the presidential uh, inauguration of Daniel Ortega in Nicaragua before going on to Cuba and Ecuador. Iran continues to deepen its relations with Latin America through its ties to the international Islamic Shia group Hezbollah, a State Department designated foreign terrorist organization. According to the Congressional Research Center, Hezbollah, along with Iran, has been linked to two bombings against Jewish targets in Argentina, the 1972 bombing of the Israeli embassy in Buenos Aires that killed 30 people, and the 1994 bombing of the Argentine-Israeli uh, Mutual uh, Association in Buenos Aires that killed 85 people. While increasing tensions between the United States, Israel, and Iran, we cannot simply afford to ignore the threats that are looming in South America. The Countering Iran in the Western Hemisphere Act of 2012 will ensure that threat assessments are conducted, that a cooperative strategy is put in place between the United States and our allies in the region, and our borders with Canada and Mexico are more secure. These efforts will allow our country to better protect our citizens and our interests both on our own soil and abroad. As we have seen, the threat is real, and American lives are at stake. We cannot afford to ignore the potential threats to our national security that may stem from this area of the world. Thank you. I yield back. The gentleman yields back his time. The gentleman from New York. Uh, at this time, I.